Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be testing out some new products that I picked up from Jones Road. They are a brand new cosmetics company created by Bobbi Brown, who is a famous makeup artist. I'm sure you've heard of her. She had her own cosmetics line that she started back in the 90s called Bobbi Brown Cosmetics. And they have been one of the largest makeup companies for a long time. They're owned by Estee Lauder. She left the company a few years ago and started Jones Road. So um, it is all clean and cruelty free and I'm really excited to try it out. So if you don't know who Bobbi Brown is, you definitely need to look her up. She's an amazing makeup artist and a huge inspiration for the style of makeup that I do. She's always been about that very natural makeup look that's, you know, you but enhanced. And I've always found that very beautiful. I always have liked the natural style of makeup. That is something that since I've become a makeup artist, I have always been hired for. Like people will literally hire me because I do the natural style of makeup where people look like themselves. So anyways, Bobbi Brown had her cosmetics line, Bobbi Brown Cosmetics, for a very long time. They're a huge brand because they sell the natural makeup look. But then she just started her own new brand called Jones Road. And this is all clean and cruelty-free makeup. And if you look on their website, it's very like natural and fresh looking. It seems like the Glossier for like the older crowd. Um, although I do feel like they're trying to get the younger audience in by being clean and cruelty free. I got a few of the products and I wanted to share them with you guys. Since they are a new brand, they really don't have a huge spread of products. Like they have something called the Miracle Balm, which I picked one up of, which is actually like really large and I wasn't expecting it to be this big. They have a few eye products, like some sparkle washes, which I got three of. And then they have these things called Just A Sec Eyeshadows, which I got three of. All of those are like really sparkly products. They also have some lip glosses and they have um, a mascara, which I wanted to get, but I had just picked up the Rowan mascara, so I figured I don't need another one right now. But I definitely want to try that out later on. Um, and then they also have like some little kits and sets where you can get, you know, a, a grouping of products that all work together. But I didn't really want to get the sets because they came with like a dark brown eyeshadow which I knew I wouldn't really use. They came with a uh, liner pencil which I probably wouldn't use very much so I just picked up things that I thought I would use. So I wanted to share those with you guys. I'm really excited because like I said I love that natural style of makeup and all these products are really made for that. I love that it's clean and cruelty free. I think that's awesome. So as far as Jones Road goes it says that her philosophy in starting this brand was because the world doesn't need more beauty products, it just needs better beauty products. So they are clean, strategic, and high-grade formulations that work on every skin type and tone, and they're as simple to use as they are to master. It says, Jones Road is for a lifetime of beauty knowledge that's distilled. There's no phthalates, sulfates, petrolatum, PEGs, cyclic silicones, EDTA or BPA, among many other things. They follow guidelines that are even more stringent than those in the EU to eliminate over 2,700 potentially harmful ingredients from the formulas. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and test out these products because I want to open these up and see how they look. Let's go ahead and check out the first product that I got. It's called the Jones Road Miracle Balm. This is in the shade All Natural, which is more of their like clear glowy balm. Um, they have four shades of this. They have All Natural, they have Tawny, which is like a darker rose shade. They also have a bronze and then they have Dusty Rose, which is the color that I wanted to get. It's sort of like the pinky shade, but they are actually out of stock on that. Um, so I ended up just getting this shade called Au Naturel. This is what it looks like. It is huge. And this is what it looks like. It's just like a big giant tub of balm. Um, this is a huge product. So I feel like this is kind of geared towards makeup artists to use. Um, it has like a slight, very slight like citrusy smell. Um, and there's like a very, very tiny hint of shimmer. So this will be interesting to test out. On the website, a little bit info on here. This is $38 for this giant tub of it, which will probably last you forever. Um, they do offer a pro discount, which is awesome. So if you are a professional working makeup artist, you can get a discount from Jones Road. And that's so appreciated, especially right now when we've all been out of work, um, being able to restock our kits because they haven't been used in a long time. Uh, having a discount is awesome. So Anyways, it says, it's all in the name. Miracle Balm is a secret to no makeup makeup. A wash of soft focus moisture to perfect and enhance skin. A light reflecting super product that's as versatile as it is simple to use. Wear Miracle Balm alone or layer on top of foundation for an instant refresh. It says, Bobby's tip, genius in a pot. 
Once you break the seal of the balm, you can wear it alone or use it to bronze, highlight, or tint the skin by mixing and matching shades. It says to break the top of the surface with the balm with your index finger first and then warm it up to soften the formula. Apply the balm using your fingertips, palms, a brush, or sponge onto the cheeks, lips, eyelids, or anywhere you want to enhance the glow. It's made from jojoba seed oil, argan oil, vitamin E, and that is great. I love argan oil. So let's go ahead and test this. So we're gonna go ahead and break the seal. Oh, you really have to like press hard in there. Ooh, this is very interesting feeling. That's what it looks like. It does smell a bit more citrusy now that I opened it up. I could see how this would be a good like lip balm or even you could put it on like your fingers, like your cuticles or your elbows or something like that. Ooh, okay, this feels very nice. So I just put it on my fingers. Um, it kind of feels like Vaseline a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put this on my cheeks actually. So that gives like a really nice glow actually. Hmm. Put some on our lips. I like the glow. Um, I'm gonna actually just rub it into my elbows because they are a little bit dry right now. And I don't know what else to do with this product right now because I put it on my cheeks already. Um, anyways. Let me just wipe off my fingers. So I really like the glow that it gave my skin. I can definitely see how this would be really nice to use in the winter time, um, especially because it's gonna be so dry this winter. I can already tell, like my, I don't know if you can see my knuckles, they're already like cracking. And I'm putting lotion on like four plus times a day. Like it's, nothing's helping. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna use this actually on my knuckles as well, just so I can try to keep them from not drying out and cracking. Um, but I really like the way that this looks as a highlight. I think it looks really pretty. It gives your skin that natural glow. And I can definitely see myself wearing this during the winter, especially because it's so dry. Some of the other products that I got are these sparkle washes. And these are $24 each. They come in five different shades. I got three of them. So I got the shade Ice, Midas, and So Pretty. There also is Cool Pink and bronze but i didn't feel like i would use the bronze because it's really warm toned and i didn't think i would use the cool pink because it was like very pink looking but let's check these out it says magic hour for the eyes this shimmering dimensional liquid eyeshadow locks into the lids all day with zero creasing or moving customize the intensity by building for radiant but never overdone sparkle bobby's tip is magic hour is for the eyes and more when finished applying to the eyes tap the remainder along the tops of the cheeks for increased wattage as a highlighter it says using the wand swipe on the lids and soften with the finger then evaluate for more illumination continue to build sparkle wash can also be applied over your everyday matte or cream eyeshadows that seems pretty cool it seems like it's long lasting so let's check these out um this is the first shade it's called so pretty Ooh, that is pretty the packaging looks really nice um it kind of reminds me of like those stila um sparkly shadows but if i look really closely in here it seems like there's like sparkles of like pink and gold and blue and silver i don't know if you can tell that on camera but there's definitely lots of hints of color in here. This is the applicator wand. This color is really pretty. So that's the shade right there. It's sort of like a taupey with a hint of silver and blue. It looks really pretty. It feels very cooling on, and I wonder how long it takes to set. There's definitely a lot of like blue shimmer in there. It's really pretty. Next, I got the shade Midas, which is like a goldeny shade. I guess they kind of look a little bit similar, but this is more of like a champagne, and that's more of like a taupe. It's pretty. Yeah, this is definitely more champagne colored. Those are very pretty though. And then the third one that I got is called Ice and this is like the white shade, I believe. Yep. So this is Ice. 
this looks like it's gonna be really interesting too. I see a lot of like pink and purple and blue and gold fleck in here. Ooh, whoa. Okay, look at that one. There is like pink and blue and purple fleck. Super pretty. Okay, I'm super excited for this one. I can't wait to use this one. I think this is my favorite of the way that these look. Wow, that's so pretty. Okay, and then the last products that I got from Jones Road are the Just A Sec eyeshadows. And this comes in six different shades. I got three of them. I got pewter, linen, and icy pink. I feel like these kind of correlate with the other shades. Um, these are $26 each. They say the innovative formula you never knew you needed. With a weightless, cushiony texture, this eyeshadow imparts a crease-proof wash of luminous color across the lids, at the inner corners of the eyes, and along the brow bone. Just a sec is all it takes to look bright-eyed, available in six mistake-proof shades. Bobby's tip is using a finger, swipe just a sec across the eyelids or anywhere you want a wash of color. Use your finger or a brush, swipe just a sec across your lids or wherever you want a wash of color. Use a loan or layer for a bolder, deeper, denser look. Can be used on top of a powdered eyeshadow or a clean lid. So these just a sec shadows come in like a little pot that's like a little glass pot. These look really interesting. Um, they are just like a sparkle shadow. This is the color pewter. So it kind of correlates to this one here, um, but it looks really pretty. Let's go ahead and test it. Ooh, they're very cushiony. Interesting. Like if I press on it, it like moves. Um, that's very interesting. They feel very soft and creamy. This is the color right here. Okay, so this is pewter. They feel very creamy. I actually really like the texture of it and it's super sparkly and pretty. This would be such like a beautiful everyday color just on your eyelids. I think that looks really nice. The next one we will try out is ice pink. Oh, whoops. This one looks a little bit different. Um, this one definitely looks more chunky and shimmery. This also kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Scattered Light Pots, but they're not as dry. Like these I feel like are more creamy. And then they also kind of remind me of the, like the Marc Jacobs sequin shadows, but those are way more chunky. Oh wow, so this one's definitely more crumbly. Um, but that color is really pretty. This is a lot like the ice version of that. Um, it's really pretty. There's like a lot of sparkle in there, a lot of that like purpley hint of color, but like also pink. It's really pretty, but it's definitely more crumbly than the last one, but it doesn't seem like there's any like fallout from it. Um, it just seems like it. it's like a more crumbly texture. And then the last one that I got is linen, and this is the white neutral shade. This color looks really pretty too. It's sort of like a champagne-y color. This one's definitely more creamy because when I press into it, it kind of like goes along the sides there, if you can see that. Let me put a little bit more of that on. Yeah, this one definitely is more creamy than the other ones. See, it gets on my fingers there. color is really pretty. That would be a really pretty highlight color. If you use that on like the inner corners of your eyes or along your brow bone or even your cheeks, that would be really pretty there. So those are all of the shades of the Just A Sec shadows that I got. They look really pretty. Now I want to go ahead and use them and see how they look on the eyes. Also, after wiping away, you definitely get like a hint of sparkle that just stays on. So if you're not a sparkle person, you probably won't be into these because they definitely leave sparkle in his tracks. Let's go ahead and apply some things. What do I want to use? I kind of want to use this pewter shade and apply that. Oh, that's pretty. I really like the feeling of it. It reminds me a lot of the Gressa um, eye tints, the feeling. It really is similar to that.
But this color is really pretty. It's very natural. It kind of has like hints of green and gold in it. I like that you can just use your hand to apply this. Like how much easier could it get, you know? It blends out really well. is really pretty you definitely can't get an easier product to use you know so I'm just building it up a little just to see how it looks this is so pretty that's super pretty okay now I want to use the linen shade, like the goldeny tone, and I'll put that like right in the inner, the inner part here. That's nice too. I'm gonna put some right here too. And a little under my brow bone. Okay, I really like these. They're super easy to use and the colors are so nice. Um, I feel like even with like a, a nice matte look, you could use this linen shade just for like a very slight hint of sparkle just to give you like that sheen if you move your head you know I really like those um I really want to use this other just a sec shadow in icy pink but I feel like I don't know if it would go with these two colors because it is a lot more like purpley maybe it would let's go ahead and use it whatever who cares <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in the center Oh, that's interesting. So on top of the um, pewter color, it comes out more blue. So that's really interesting. I like that. It's a bit color shifting. It's really fun. Look at that. That's really cool. I like these. So let's go ahead and add just a little bit of this. Why not, you know? just to deepen it in the crease here, or in the outer corner, I mean. These kind of remind me of like the Kosas 10 second shadows, but not watery like these are what the I would want the Kosas shadows to be like this is what I the formula I wish the Kosas shadows were like I like the Kosas 10 second shadows but they can be a bit watery and the color kind of fades out whereas this it didn't it it doesn't do that like it is like that's the color that you're getting and it's a lot more of a thicker consistency but I really like that. I think it looks so pretty. So let me go ahead and put some mascara on so I can complete this look and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just put some mascara on. I love this Rowan Beauty mascara. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. Um, I Like I said, I do really want to try out the Jones Road mascara. It looks very interesting, but because I just got the Rowan one, I figured I would wait a little while, but maybe eventually I will purchase the Jones Road one and I will let you guys know how it works. Um, but so far, I really like all the products that I got. I think that they're very interesting. The one thing that I'm kind of unsure on is this Miracle Balm. I guess I'm not really sure why it's such a huge pot of it, but I will continue to use this. I do like the way it gave my skin like a nice sheen, but it is kind of like 
I can feel the product on my skin and then it just goes onto my hands. Like it doesn't really settle in, I don't think. Um, it feels like it just kind of sits on top. So I'm not really 100% sure about that. I don't think I could finish a whole one of these anytime soon. Like even if I used it on my elbows and my fingers and my knuckles and my skin and my lips and I don't know, wherever. I still don't feel like I could finish this whole thing. So I feel like it's kind of just like a huge product. So yeah, I don't know. I guess if you went in with like a friend and you split like the cost and then you got another container and then split it with them, that would be like cool. But I don't know, to me, this just seems like a really big product and I would hate to waste it. Um, so it's kind of questionable. I don't know, It's it's a cool product, but I'm still thinking about it. Like the jury is out on this one, you know? Hi guys, just wanted to pop in here real quick. I'm from the future and let you guys know that I actually ended up returning or getting a refund on the Miracle Bomb. Um, I really wanted to like it and at first in the video, as you saw, I did like it. I liked the way it looked, but then I wore it all day and for the next few days and it just leaves a residue on your skin. Maybe it's just on me because I use a lot of like skincare oils. But for some reason, it just seemed to just sit on top of my skin as if it was just like Vaseline or something. Like it just sat on top of my skin and on my elbows where I used it, it just sat there and it didn't soak into my skin. It just felt sticky. And on my face, it just felt sticky. And I did not like the feeling of that at all. And I'm really disappointed because like it seems like such a cool product. Clearly, I didn't use this much product. Um, I did just, you know, press into it like you're supposed to. But... Even on my lips where I used it, it didn't feel like it soaked in. It just kind of felt dry afterwards, like after I wore it for a while. So I don't know, this product just wasn't for me. So I did end up getting a refund on this, but they let me keep it because, you know, COVID and everything. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is see if my mom wants to use it at all. Um, otherwise, I'm not really sure what to do with it because it just didn't work out for me. Um, which is disappointing because I really wanted to like it because I really like things like this that give you like a natural glow. Um, but yeah, this one just didn't work out for me. But otherwise, these sparkle washes and the Just A Sec shadows, I really like these. I like the way that they look. I like the way that they feel. Um, I'm excited to continue wearing these. This is just like such a beautiful, like neutral looking makeup. Like this you could wear anytime. You could wear it on Zoom. You could wear it when you're going to work if you're working not from home. Um, you could wear it when you're working from home because you feel like putting a little bit of extra effort in. Um, like this is just like such a, a cool looking product. Um, I'm not sure how the other ones look that I didn't pick up, but I wouldn't doubt them being nice and pretty like these ones are. Um, I would say if you aren't a Sparkle fan, you won't like these products that they've come out with so far, but I assume that they will come out with more matte products because in one of their kits, they do have a matte shadow. Um, so I assume that, you know, as they progress, they will come out with more and more things. I would be interested to see if they come out with um, foundation and concealer because they are into that whole like natural thing. So I wonder how that would look with a foundation and concealer from them. I would assume it would be similar to how Bobbi's makeup is from her old cosmetics line. Um, but it'd be interesting to see. I feel like this is sort of like a different version of Glossier. Like I feel like that is kind of the vibe that they were going for, like a clean version of Glossier. So um, I'm interested to see what other products they come out with because so far I really like it, you know, with the few products that I've tried. So I'm definitely interested in trying more and seeing where else this brand goes because it is literally brand new. Like these products just came out um, like within the last month. So um, definitely brand new, definitely interested to see what else they do along the line. Um, but so far, I really like it. And I feel like this just looks really pretty. And um, if you are into sparkle, then you will love all of this stuff. Um, I'm definitely interested in trying out the icy pink shade on its own, as well as this ice shade on its own. I feel like those will be just so pretty just for like a every day. I just want like a little bit of glam look, you know what I mean? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this first impressions of the Jones Road brand. I know I didn't get everything, but hopefully eventually I will start to, you know, be able to try out some other products from them. Um, but so far I really like what I picked up. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you were interested in this brand Jones Road, or if you haven't heard of it before, I hope this was like a good introduction to it. Um, it was for me. So, um, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, 
subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you join me in this little beauty community. Let me know if you guys end up trying anything from Jones Road or if there was anything that I picked up that you were interested in after seeing it on camera. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Um, I do think that it is definitely for people who like sparkle right now. Hopefully they will branch out with their products to people that maybe don't care for a little bit of sparkle. Um, but so far I love it because I love everything sparkly. So <laughs> anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and um, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!